want to make machines in Lebanon and sell them to the world. A, a safe environment to fail is probably the starting point of innovation. Innovation becomes not a luxury, but a way of life. The way we do business will, will change. If Technica can do it, let's do it. Welcome everyone to today's episode of Industry Spectrum Home Edition. Um, here with me today to share his experience is Tony Haddad, the founder and the general manager of Technica. Hello, Tony. Thank you for being here. Hello. Tony, I've had the opportunity of visiting your facility maybe 15 years ago. For our audience who haven't, um, what does Technica do? Well, Technica today, uh, we do automation systems for all kinds of industries, mainly food and beverage. We do robotic solutions. We do innovative, customized solutions for the uh, industry. At the same time, we integrate turnkey lines, complete lines for uh, lines of uh, dairies, beverage, water, and food. At the same time, we developed recently a digital solution platform where we have digital solutions also, uh, which is very convenient now in times of Corona. I know Technica has been in the business for 38 years now. How, yes. how do you exceed being uh, you know, relevant in the market um, and stay on the forefront of innovation? The year we started Technica was in 1982, which is in the history of Technica, a very uh, uh, specific year. So I go to my boss at that time and I tell him I'm quitting. And he said, why? You're not happy? You want a salary raise? Uh, what's the problem? And I said, no, I uh, want to make machines in Lebanon and sell them to the world. That's a dream I have and I would like to pursue that dream. So his reaction, which is not surprising because everybody to whom I said the same thing said exactly the same reply, you're crazy. And I probably I was crazy, but I guess all entrepreneurs in the world are also crazy. Otherwise, they would not do what they're doing. So I started my, uh, my journey by with this dream in mind. And 38 years later, we are now exactly in 38 countries. So we sell in 38 countries all over the world. We have customers, multinational accounts like Pepsi, Danone, Procter & Gamble, Unilever, I mean, name them, all the multinational accounts. So I can say that that's crazy dream. Eventually, when you pursue a crazy dream and you're really determined to make it happen, it does happen. I told you this history to tell you that when you have to go through all these problems that we were facing, innovation becomes not a luxury, but a way of life. It becomes a necessity. It becomes a basic ingredient for survival and for success. Innovation is part of our culture. In our culture elements, there's an I. It's called I task. The first letter is I for innovation. So innovation is something which is embedded in the culture of the people. Not only reward innovation, but most important, we don't punish failures. Because if you start punishing failures, you kill innovation. And the people know that they're allowed to do mistakes, but they have to repeat again and keep trying till they succeed. I can, you know, I can vouch that a, a safe environment to fail is probably the starting point of innovation. Uh, so thank you for yeah. that insight. Um, I, I know that Technica has worked on Ambuvent as part of your corporate social responsibility. Can you maybe tell us uh -huh. the story behind that, please? Yes, well, uh, the Ambuvent is not something we do. It's a medical device. We're more into the robotics. But I saw a report on TV showing that people were needing uh, ventilators. There was a pandemic and they were waiting in, time, in, in line for the ventilators. So we said, if Technica can do it, let's do it. Uh, when we started the Ambuvent, we, there were different technologies. And what we decided to do is use the UK uh, standards. They had uh, developed a special standard, what, what they call RMVS, Rapidly Manufactured Ventilator System, and they did it for the uh, Corona specifically. So we took that standard and we followed the design, which is the AmbiBag design. It's a bag which is used in uh, emergency rooms and in, uh, in uh, ambulances, and we automated that and we did a software for it. This a unit can be used in the house, can be used in the ambulance, can be used in the hospital rooms, and also can be used at the ICU, in the emergency rooms, because it doesn't need any compressed air. So it's flexible. Uh, it follows the VCV concept, which is the um, volume control ventilator, and it gives all the parameters, all the safeties, and it has all the features of a good ventilator. Uh, we can do a ventilator once we develop the one and certify it. We can do like with the staff we have and the capacity of the factory we have, 
we can fabricate at close to 100, 150 ventilators every month. This is as worthy a cause as, 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 can, as can be, Tony. I, I'm, I'm sure the, the community is very thankful. Um, as a business leader, where do you want to see Technica going? Um, maybe in five or in 10 years. What are you experimenting with now? We look at the crisis as an opportunity. And while doing all these challenges I was telling you about, which you have to take care of to sustain the operation, of course, we had an eye on the horizon. We always looked beyond Corona. We always looked like five years ahead. Okay, Corona will disappear one day. What do we do after that? And we set a, what we call a vision strategy 2025. So we have a strategy for 25 and it's very simple. It's three words, go global, go digital and go lean. For the go digital, the world is going digital and Corona has speeded it up. So, uh, the transformation and the change was really sp uh, speeded up by the Corona crisis. We have uh, set up a digital division. This digital division will develop digital solutions for the industry like IIoT or SCADA or uh, remote digital assistance. Tra trace and track for the products where you can trace the product from the production line down to the consumer through the supply chain measuring the temperature, the condition, when it's in the truck, in the containers. Uh, we even installed some projects remotely, one in Mexico, where we installed a line for PNG without going there, just by giving them smart glasses and the remote digital remote platform where they were installing with the assistance of our engineers going online. We installed another one also in uh, Cairo. And for Golin, the company has expanded over the years, we're 200 people now, and we are 40 engineers. And when it's evident, then when the company grows, then there's becomes to have, you know, like uh, we're getting heavy, it's uh, uh, the cost will go high. So we developed a, a strategy to go lean by implementing ERP. Autodesk was one of them. Autodesk was an initiative we did part of the uh, strategy of going lean. So we needed the Autodesk to connect the electrical department with the mechanical design department, with the customer service department, and link it to the sales department and the offer preparation sales support. So all they are working on the same file. Before it was like, you know, different files and errors on the way. So now it's all connected through the uh, Autodesk software, which is, uh, people are saying it's very efficient and it's very, uh, something very, it did an impact on our cost. Good luck with your vision and thank you so much for being with us. Um, thank you audience for tuning in. Stay safe and I'll see you in our next episode of Industry Spectrum Home Edition. Thank you.